All right, if you're following me, you know I love Elementor, the drag and drop and responsive editor for WordPress. It is a phenomenal design tool. Uh, today, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to set the uh, global uh, settings for font, um, font size and color schemes. So uh, the one thing you will wanna do first is before you get started, log on to your WordPress dashboard, come under Elementor in settings. You want to make sure that these two boxes are unchecked. Uh, disable default colors and disable default fonts must be unchecked. Otherwise, it'll pull uh, from whatever theme that you have installed. And if you are new to Elementor, I definitely suggest picking the Hello theme by Elementor. It is a bare bones place to start with. So once you got those, make sure you save your changes. And then let's go over to a page that you're editing. So to access the um, Global settings, you're going to click on the hamburger menu here and go to site settings. And we're going to start with the font colors. So I've already installed and updated these global colors, but what you'll do is you pick your primary color, come in here. You can use the color chooser on the palette, or you can put in the actual hex code if you have it from your designer. So update that from your primary, secondary, text, accent, and I always uh, suggest adding white. It's not in there by default, but if you're putting uh, text over images, having white in the drop-down menu from default colors is a huge help. Uh, what we're gonna go back and we're also gonna go to the global fonts. So pick your global fonts here. Um, I am on this site, they wanted the uh, Velcorn, so we're gonna go Velcorn, add that. Um, you can also set the uh, default size of the site. So um, you might want to do this, you know, 14, 16, make it easily readable. You can set the, white, the weight, uh, default, or the uh, transform is uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, that type of thing. So you can go in here, set that for your primary, uh, your secondary. Uh, you can get a little creative. So maybe we're going to put a little bit of script. Actually, no, we're not going to use that on the secondary. We're going to go with a Helvetica. And um, just so you know, all the web safe fonts are at the top, uh, so if you scroll up here, let's just do that, you'll see these at the top. So the default, and then you can get the system, which are the web save fonts first, and then uh, also maybe for an accent. So this is where I like the Rock Slab. So let's throw that in there. We're gonna update that, and there you have your, your colors. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is uh, look at your typography. Uh, the reason we're checking into the typography, let me move over here, is for setting specifically the H1, H2, all your header default sizes. So you can set the uh, colors. Um, and just so you know, when you set a color, um, you can use the color picker if you click the square, or if you use a custom icon, uh, your global color should show up here. Okay, when setting up your your header font sizes. I found this little trick works pretty well. Uh, go in and just add a section. Uh, we're going to delete this in a bit, but you're going to go in and add uh, heading texts. So let's go ahead and add a couple of these. We'll just start with the uh, first four. I typically don't ever go below four on headers. Uh, we'll go in here and we're going to go header one. And then let's change the tag to H1. All that header two, that's already set for header two. I'm gonna do the same for the other two boxes. So we're gonna update these. Now that you have them on your screen, this is a great place that you can adjust your heading settings. So we're gonna jump back over to the site settings and go down to topography. All right, so now that I have them here, it is pretty easy to see. So let's look at the topography. Um, you can adjust and you'll see it in real time update on your page. So uh, in this case, we're gonna make this one, you know, let's say 50. Let's go down to the header two because we wanna get that a little bit more in line. So we're gonna make that a 40, make it a 44. Okay, so we're gonna pick up with um, header two here. That's a little too close to the header one size. Oops. Clicked header one by accident there. We're gonna go down and get on the right one, header two here. Uh, so we'll make that 40. We'll go down to header three. 32 doesn't quite do as much difference, but here's where you can get a little creative and talk about the weight. So uh, perhaps we'll make the header a little bit lighter weight. And there you go. 
uh, make sure you save your settings and you can exit site settings. And that is a simple way to start creating your site. If you do these things before you start designing, it'll save you a lot of time. Uh, the one last thing I want to show you is that you have to be aware of this. If you add a, a, a template, a block or a section and it doesn't happen to pull over or you have to reset the style to allow it to have the font. So you can see this is a different font. There's two ways of resetting the font. You can go in to your editing and go into the little edit button here and click the res back to default. But what I find is more effective is go to the editing tool and right click, let's get me out of the way, and choose the re reset style. This will reset the color, the font, and everything that you need so you make sure you grab it all. Uh, here's another example. This text is a light gray by this um, box. And I'm gonna go down and just reset style so you can see it goes in there. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, good luck, happy designing, and check back for some of the other videos that I have on the site here. Lots of information on Elementor and WordPress usage. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button right now. Stay tuned and check out the channel for other interesting and informative videos.